Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. And we are looking at Hawaii. And we are looking at, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the cloud bank of Hurricane Norman moving in. <coughs> it is currently about 140 miles approximately offshore currently it is still coming in directly at Hilo Hawaii the northeastern point that you see the most further east point it is uh, coming directly in towards that area there the hurricane is currently a cat 4 hurricane and at last look at least is holding the strength if not even strengthening a little bit more the hurricane has almost doubled in size in the last half a day in about 12 hours it's almost doubled in size and is moving still currently directly at Hawaii for a direct landfall unless it changes directions which it has yet to do but the reason for this video is a little different. I want to show you some things. If we look in here at the north, northern shore of Hawaii, you see these banks of clouds rolling in. You can look at them like as, as if they were. Let me pull this down, push it back up, so you got a better screen there. You can look at those as if they were waves in the ocean and each one of those hit and roll up on shore it even looks like water hitting the hitting the shore as you can see there you'll notice that the clouds do not move up above a certain elevation the darker areas are above the elevation because these are lower level clouds and they're not being pushed up over the mountain okay they are actually they get pulled around the mountain and go around the mountain on both sides and stream out on the back side I'll show you that stream here in just a minute but first I want to show you if we zoom in here I want you to look and see what you see here you see a bunch of smaller waves so we have these big waves and then when that wave comes in you can see a bunch of lines north and south generally what would generate these type of lines would either be wind or frequency one of the two so I find those couple of observations interesting but more interesting is this in the center of your screen you see a little circle that little circle is Mauna Key. and there's a couple of you saying I'm pronouncing it wrong I apologize but I have to call it Mauna Key. Mauna Key is one of the four volcanoes on the Big Island of Hawaii. If you look at the caldera, which is that circle, it is producing steam that is coming, appearing on this image as clouds. Understanding that those clouds down below, above it, are being pulled out and around the island that they're not coming up there as you can even see therefore they're not being imaged up there we have a caldera that is supposedly an extinct volcano producing steam now you might think that was a fluke but if we come down here to Mauna Loa dead center of your screen you can see another little circle that keeps forming and you see a substantial as I slide this up some more you 
you can see a substantial amount of steam being produced out of Mauna Loa. And you can see the circle that keeps reforming in several of the frames. Then we have Kilauea, which is in the center of your screen now. And it too is producing actually the most steam. Those are what I don't believe are clouds. I believe that is steam coming out of Kilauea. So we have at least three volcanoes producing their own clouds or steaming currently. If we come over here there is another volcano over here and we would be able to potentially see it if it was producing a circle or producing its own uh, steam or clouds I haven't been able to spot it as well or as easy however here is that st those streams I'm talking about you see the streams coming off the bottom of the island on both sides those are the clouds that are going around the mountains and streaming down in a line so if all that makes sense you have to ask yourself why is why are the volcanoes emitting so much steam right now and if you haven't seen it on my video before why does this island look like the head of a dead sheep it's actually tilted to the right a little bit one ear is lower than the other the other ear is kind of up in the air tongue hanging out of the mouth down at the bottom if I could turn on the roads on this you would really see it I don't think I have that available on this map I don't for some of you that just makes you think I'm crazy because I said that Hawaii looks like a dead sheep head you should go back and look at a couple of my other videos where I prove it it's the people who built the roads in Hawaii which are the Freemasons built the roads in such a way that when they were shown on a map it made Hawaii look like a dead sheep head all the roads that you cannot see in this image are built in such a way that it produces the appearance of a dead sheep head it's just the way it is and it's the truth alright so once again those are just some observations I wanted to share with you. Again, y'all guys in Hawaii batting down the hatches. This storm is going to be substantially worse than any previous storm. Have a great evening. This has been Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority.